Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to give an insider's look at all of the books from Living Library Press. So these are the books that the ladies at A Delectable Education have decided to republish, bring back into print. Um, so they are mostly science books that Nicole from Sabbath Mood Homeschool, who's also, she's one of the ladies from A Delectable Education, has chosen to use for her um, science guides. Um, but there's a few other ones and I wanted to show the difference. So a lot of y'all might be familiar with um, Living Book Press. Um, they put out a lot of things, a lot of uh, good old books, but this is a different um, company. So this is Living Library Press. So it's a little bit different. Okay, so the first one is Paper Modeling. And this one is for seven-year-olds and higher, so form uh, 1A and higher. Um, it does have two years worth of plans in it. Um, and so it's starting with some of the uh, easier materials to work with. So starting with paper and then, so after you would, the child would complete that one, then they would move on to cardboard modeling. Um, this one has several years of projects in it, and so they'd use cardboard, and then Sloyd is eventually, it was a, a craft that was eventually supposed to use wood, so, so they go through and use the um, more affordable materials and easier to work with for smaller hands, and then um, eventually they could use wood, and it was a, a, a craft, a way of crafting for adults. So yes, all right, and you can tell, you can tell that this one is uh, thicker than that one, so yeah, more years. Okay, and then the next book here is, this is The Year Round by C.J. Highlander, and they recommend using this in some of the higher level um, nature study, uh, like a nature study guide for a higher level group. Um, so high school, probably seventh grade plus could use this. It's got a lot of great pictures in it. So let's see, there's mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Oh, that is hilarious, okay. See this mushroom called puffball? We have those on our property and we just called them puffballs. Like we just made that up because they have a little, yeah, they're like all swollen up like a balloon. And if you push on them a little bit, um, kind of some smoky stuff comes out. So I guess they're spores. That is hilarious. I will have to show that to my son because he loves um, smushing all the puffballs. They grow on like old logs and stuff. ferns. I know there's a page that I marked. Let's see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> snakes. I would like to uh, be able to recognize snakes because we do have poisonous snakes in Alabama and I want to know the good snakes and the bad snakes. And that's just, a, I feel like a lifelong skill that I should have learned and need to learn. So that's that one, the year round. Um, this next one here is Men, Microscopes, and Living Things by Katherine Shippen. Um, I know Nicole recommends this for, um, I think seventh grade plus it is the right age for it, but she really says this is just a book that's not to be missed. So she says, read it as an adult, read it in uh, ninth grade. If you want to use it as your like high school biology uh, spine, um, she does have a higher level biology as well. So it depends on how advanced your student is. We're probably going to look to try and do this in eighth grade and then uh, use the other option for our high school biology. Um, so yeah, and yeah, I wanna read this myself and I wanna get my husband to read it because he's a science person, but he is like biology is his weakest science. So he's like super into physics and then chemistry a little bit less than that. Um, and I, I just don't even know when he took biology last. So I'm a more of a, more on the biology side of sciences. That's what I'm more familiar with. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get him to read that too. Okay, and then the next stack that I have, these are mostly Form 2 books, so I'm a lot closer to using these. Um, I just have a Form 1B student, but I went ahead and basically I just cleaned them out. All of the ones that Electrical Education wanted to reprint from their, their republishing uh, platform, I just wanted to buy all of them. So here's a bunch that Nicole has picked that she has her guides for, and I'll show those too. So we've got Magnets by Rocco Faravola. And the great thing about the ones they pick, um, a lot of them are illustrated. So 
has different illustrations just all through it. And they're very simple illustrations, but they she really talks about how children, even the simple illustrations, it makes an impression and it makes it easier to understand. So that's great. All right, so this next one is Rain, Hail, Sleet, and Snow by Nancy Larrick. So. some examples of different pictures. The first book of plants by Alice Dickinson. And these are, um, so yes, these are form two books and they can be used. She recommends using them um, one science per term in form two. So you, um, you have your nature study and your nature lore and that's uh, one part of the science in form two, but in form, from form one to form two, you start adding some of these I don't know, harder sciences that aren't necessarily nature study. So there's this, the first book of machines by Walter Buer. It's like technology and engineering for the lower forms. So, yeah. All right. And here, this one is the first book of the earth by Irene Sevry. Here is the first book of electricity by Sam and Beryl Epstein. I love this with all the little, there's all these electric guys. <laughs> so you're kind of seeing it from their perspective, I guess, the little, the little critters. <laughs> and the first book of sound by David Knight. Okay, so that's those. So basically, I'm planning to use this science for when we get to form two, but to me, I'm also just building my homeschool library. So even if, you know, something terrible were to happen unexpected and we had to just put our kids in public school or something, um, these would just be great to have um, at home and we could read them when we could um, or just use them, like our kids could pick them up and read them at different times. Um, so I just think it's worth having them. That's why I went ahead and got them all, but this is what we were planning to use. And then I also bought her, um, I bought her bundle for her form two lesson guides. And then, so I've got these, I, I printed them myself. So I have these three um, books and I just, I actually printed them. So it's three, it's nine sciences. And there's a couple that were, uh, I was able to purchase that they don't have to republish. So anyways, I, I just published, um, or I printed them and put all three in one year. So like three, I just picked the three I wanted for, for each year. So I've got, this one is the magnets one. And then, so yeah, I just, I laminated that cover and then I laminated the back and I can just move on to the next one in the, in the year. Um, so that one is astronomy, find the constellations by H.A. Ray. So that's one, uh, that one you're, um, I don't know if it's in print, but it's, it's still easy to find. Like you can still find it on thrift books and yeah, on used book sites. And I've got chemistry here and that's another one. That's the, the other book that she recommends that I think Living Book Press um, prints that one. So I, they didn't have to republish that one. So that's that. And then, yeah, I've got weather and then the physics energy. So that's the first book of electricity and first book of the earth. And then let me show you a little bit what a, here's like what the lessons look like. It's got like teacher prep help. Um, has some, yeah, just different recommendations and what you will need to be looking ahead at for that week. Has a couple of pictures in there too. So let's see if I can turn this sideways. <laughs> so yeah. It's a little insider peek into her lesson guides. And then, yeah, this last one was the botany, waves, and yeah, engineering technology, the machines book. So yeah, and yeah, I just bound it so that I can totally turn it into a, a new page. 
for whichever term we're on. So, and I could really, if my years get mixed up, it really doesn't matter. This was just easier for me to bind it like this with three coils and, uh, and have them like get one out for the year and put the other ones away. If not, I can get it out for the term and then switch to a different book. It doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, that's how I bound them. So yes, all of these are paperback except for the two Sloyd books. Those are hardback. So yeah, let's see. Yes, here's the all the stack of paperbacks. So you can see that the Form 2 Sciences, they're nice and short. And um, that'll be good for the attention span and the age level of the children. And then those two um, higher higher form books are thicker. So, yep. And then here was, again, the hardcover books. They're like wide and, uh, yep, nice hardcovers. So, anyways, I just love the ladies at A Delectable Education. I so appreciate all that Nicole has done on her site, Sabbath Mood Homeschool. She really goes into detail about what Charlotte Mason did and how we can best look at that in our, uh, in, in present day because Charlotte Mason, at the time that she lived, um, a lot of the science was botany and nature stuff. Um, we have learned so much in science, so there is a whole lot more for us to cover and to, to uh, help our children to discover. So there's, there's a challenge there. And yeah, um, she has a really good um, format laid out that we're going to try to follow. So anyways, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this look inside and please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks so much for stopping by.